Oh my god, guys, it is freaking time. It has started. It has begun. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie 2 is coming. It is coming for you and myself. I am pumped. My heart is pounding. My, my blood is racing through my body. We have news, breaking news. A lot of stuff has just happened in the past minute. I am so freaking... I'm getting lightheaded. Oh my gosh. This might, I'm, I'm coming in really hot. I think I'm scaring off people. I'm not on drugs. Don't worry. We have been wondering for a long time when we are going to hear not only new information about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie to itself, but not only casting information, but more about Knuckles. We saw those set photos. We saw this set photo in particular right here that just freaking destroyed the internet for the entire day. Knuckles is in the Sonic movie too. We've known this for a while. It was even speculated before we saw any of that stuff. And obviously what goes to our mind is when are we going to see a first look? Who's going to be playing Knuckles? That was the biggest thing. Are we going for big celebrity? What's happening here? There were reports earlier that Jason Momoa was offered the role. I thought that was a really good choice. The Rock was a big fan casting choice as well. But now we officially have our Knuckles, the Echidna for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie 2, and it is none other than Idris freaking Elba. Freaking isn't part of his name, it's Idris Elba. But I just want to emphasize how freaking insane that is. Idris Elba is not only an amazing actor, he is so perfect for this role. If you guys don't recall, he's probably very fresh in your minds right now. He just started in the new Suicide Squad movie directed by James Gunn. He was basically the lead of that movie. It was an ensemble, but he was definitely the heart and soul of it. He definitely, I think, had the most screen time out of anybody. He's also in plenty of other stuff. He's a highly distinguished, respected actor, and he is officially our Knuckles the Echidna, and not just that, but he was the one to share this information with us himself. Not just that, but with an image. Right here, you can see our very first look at Knuckles. It very much so is a tease. It's not the full thing, but as you can see, that is Knuckles' glove right there. So iconic, so faithful to the source material, to the video games and all this stuff. It just looks like Knuckles' uh, fist just obviously movified. Movified? Is that a word? <laughs> that right there, that's leather. That, that's, that's, leather that's leather right there. It's roughed up. It, 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 it's been through some stuff. He's might have to replace those a couple times. He has that red furish quilt stuff going on. Ooh, dude. It's perfect. Not just have we seen like an idea of what Knuckles looks like based off of those set photos but now we have like an actual like what he will look like in the movie in some form. Now this obviously is a tease. We don't see his face, we don't see his full body. I'm sure we'll see it very, very soon. In fact, I have a video coming out very soon that I was actually editing <laughs> when this news dropped um, about uh, Sonic being at CinemaCon, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Idris Elba is Knuckles. It is confirmed. It is happening. He is our Knuckles. There is no other casting information in relation to any other people. A lot of people are still wondering who Tails could be. I'm still sure that that is the most complicated. They're still trying to figure that out. Whether they'll still with Colleen O'Shaughnessy who did the after credit scene or whether they'll go to someone more high profile. I still believe they will go more high profile, especially based off of this Idris Elba casting. I do think that Tails will have a new voice actor or actress. We'll see. But we're not here to focus on Tails or anybody else. We're here to talk about Knuckles. We're here to talk about Idris Elba. Idris Elba, I, I need to implant him into the minds of Sonic fans because I know not every Sonic fan watches like all, like a bunch of movies and especially maybe stuff that Idris Elba has been in. But like I mentioned, he was just just the new Suicide Squad, like literally it came out Friday. It is brand new, it is fresh, the perfect timing. He's probably on top of the world right now. He was phenomenal in that movie. He gave a great performance. You can go check that out. He has a very grizzled, dark, sexy voice. I'm sorry, fellas. We down bad over here. It's great. And if you, I'm going to play some clips right now of what you can expect from Aegis Elba. I'm going to play an interview. I, I don't want to play anything from a movie because I do want to get in trouble. Warner Brothers will kill me. Here you go. Here's a little bit of what Aegis Elba sounds like. Yeah, this is really, really true. Um, um, Ash, I um, didn't know what character I was playing, but I knew the type of character and I knew the position he played within the storyline. So that's all I needed to understand and I signed on. There you guys go. He's, he's He has a voice of an angel. He's in a bunch of other stuff like the Luther series. He's been in Fast and Furious movies, uh, Hobbs and Shaw, etc. The man's a freaking legend. He's an amazing actor. He's so highly respected and loved. And I'm so happy that he is now a part of the Sonic the Hedgehog world in some way and that he is not only in the movie, but he will be playing Knuckles the Echidna. This is a character that I have loved for a very long time. I have made some videos 
Dave's on Knuckles, where I talk about his character, not only like what I'd like to see from this movie and what I think could happen in this movie, uh, but also just like his character as a whole and how it's been treated in other media and how like not only does like Sega not really understand what to do with him and like a lot of other media, it seems like the fans don't really understand the character either and he's just been in such a weird place and I feel like this movie gives the perfect opportunity to set up a brand new Knuckles and Knuckles for us to understand, to, to accept a, a solid structure for where this character could go. And I feel like there's no better way to do this than a movie to, to, to give like new identities to these characters and in modern revamps to them, which they desperately need. I think that worked for Sonic and I hope that we'll get it. It seems like it already has rubbed off on stuff like uh, Sonic Prime. If you just like look at the concept art, you can already see Sonic movie in there. But I think that this will continue with characters like Tails and yes, now Knuckles. And there's no better person that I'd like to have give that interpretation who can give a brooding, uh, lovable, yet maybe traumatized character like this character might not be what like he was in other media i want somebody who's been tortured i want somebody who's like not right i want somebody who's seen stuff who hasn't had a good upbringing i've already established that Ija Isaba is an amazing actor but i just think he will deliver uh, an amazing performance of this character that just hasn't been seen before um <laughs> this is great sorry guys i know that like we've been sonic fans for so long and like this franchise hasn't been in the movie world longer than over like a year and a half at this point. So people are like, oh, what about Dan Green? What about like all the other voice actors? They've done such an amazing job. This is a different business, guys. I'm sorry, but when Aegis Elba is attached to a movie, to voice this kind of character. Um, this is Speed Super Sonic's, like, um, lock of, lock of 2022. Knuckles will be the best part of the Sonic movie, too. There, I said it. There, there I said it. I said, I, I thought Sonic and Tails' relationship would be number one. I think, I think the, this Knuckles casting takes it to another level. I think Idris Elba wouldn't sign on to this movie unless that means that Knuckles' character is, mwah, like, A+. plus. This means that he's probably really well written, this character is really good, it's going to be a great, like, performance and delivery, hands down, because it's freaking Idris Elba. I don't really know what else to say. I think I've expressed my excitement, my, like, absolute fanboy outrage with happiness. I'm so over the moon. Idris Elba, what a good choice. I still think Jason Momoa, The Rock, they would have done good jobs, but Idris Elba also is going to do a great job. Trust me, it may not have been like what you wanted, but you may not know who Idris Elba is, but like he's an amazing actor and he will do an amazing job believe me. Let me know what you think of the Idris Elba casting as Knuckles and the Sonic the Hedgehog movie 2. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, do you want to wait to see a little bit of what like he'll be in the movie, whether that's through a trailer or a clip? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys have to say. Feel free to follow my social media. Links to my Twitter and Instagram are in the description below. You can follow those for behind the scenes look at my life, future content, and all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. This is the best place for Sonic the Hedgehog content on YouTube. We talk about all things Sonic here, whether that's video games, TV shows, movies, comics, books and merchandise and with all the Sonic the Hedgehog stuff coming up in the next two years including Sonic Movie 2 which has officially had its marketing rollout started there's gonna be a lot of stuff to go over especially with this movie so if you don't want to miss a thing make sure you subscribe right now this is gonna be an incredible journey I'd love to have you on it with me thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one you need yourself as Knuckles peace out Woo.